This video is for Chem 2045. We're doing problems from the Fall 2009 exam number three. And this is going to be practice problem number three. This problem says, Iridium has a face-centered cubic crystal structure and has an atomic radius of 136 picometers. Calculate the density of Iridium. So the first thing we'll do is write down what we know. And we'll start with what they're giving us in the problem, which means we have Iridium. And it says it's a face-centered cubic crystal structure. Also, it tells us that the atomic radius is 136 picometers. And it's asking us to find the density. And density, as you know, is mass divided by volume. So what we're looking for is um, density, and we need to find mass divided by volume. Um, something else we know about this uh, problem is that iridium has an atomic, has a molecular weight of 192.2 grams per mole. So to start this problem, we'll focus on mass here, since it's on top of our equation. So to find mass, um, we can use the fact that we have a face-centered uh, crystal structure. So we'll start by drawing out our cube. You'll have to know that face-centered means that there is going to be an atom face right here in the center, and then four partial pieces of molecules in the corners. So this is a radius in length, a radius in length here, and then from here to here, this is going to be two radiuses. Make this easier. So this is our cube. To find the mass of this cube, we need to know the number of molecules in it. So to find the number of molecules, we're going to add all these pieces together. So right now, we, we know we have this face on the side. This is a one half of a sphere. So on each of these six sides, there's going to be half of a sphere lined up against the wall. So we have six sides times half a sphere is going to give us three molecules. So three molecules so far. Now let's look at these corners right here. We have uh, eight corners, and each of these is one-eighth of a sphere. That means one-eighth of a molecule. So we have four corners, and then one-eighth of a molecule each. So, oh, oops, sorry, we have eight corners. So all together we have an additional molecule. And this together we have four molecules in our cube. So knowing that, um, we can take our molecular weight and convert this into the mass uh, that's in our cube right here. So we want to convert four molecules, molecules, into mass. So we can multiply 192.2 grams per mole. We're a little bit closer, but we need to convert uh, moles into molecules down here. We can use that um, with uh, Avogadro's number. So we have one mole is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23 molecules. So we can cross out moles here. Um, we also cross out molecules. Um, so now we're left with grams. Plugging this into our calculator, we're going to get uh, 1.277 times 10 to the negative 21 grams. So this 
is our mass and our cube. Now the next thing we need to find is volume. So to find volume, we're going to focus on our cube again. Um, to find volume of a cube, we can multiply the three sides together to get volume. So volume is going to be each side, we can say side times side times side length, and that's going to be s cubed. Um, as we figure this out, we're going to designate a to be this side, b to be this side, and then um, to find each of these two lengths, we're going to use the right tri triangle rule. So we're going to need this hypotenuse right across here. Now if we take this and um, move our triangle off to the side so it's easier to see, we have a triangle with sides, side lengths A and B, and then hypotenuse B, I mean C. Now the only one that we know about is C because we have um, sides touching all along here, so we know that this is radius plus radius plus radius plus radius. So that means C is going to be four radiuses. So we have a number for C. Now to relate C to sides A and B, we can pull out the, um, the right triangle rule. So we have C squared. C squared equals A squared plus B squared. But since we we're working with a cube over here, we know that sides A and B are equal to each other. So we can re rewrite this as 2A squared. So now we can use this part right here, plug it into our equation right here, and we have um, 2A squared is equal to C squared, which equals 4R squaring everything. So this equals 6 times r squared. Now we can isolate a with a little bit of algebra and we can get the square root of 8 times r equals a. So now that we have a, we can plug it into our equation for volume because side here also means a. So a cubed equals volume. So we plug in our number for a from over here, which is the square root of a times radius. And we're going to cube all of this. So the only thing we're missing here is a number for radius. Well, up here they gave us the atomic radius, which is 136 picometers. Um, we're, we're, we want to find out, we see in our answers that we need to find um, our density in grams per centimeter cubed. So we need to convert picometers to centimeters cubed. So we'll have square root of 8 times radius, which is 136 picometers. Converting picometers into meters, we have 1 meter equivalent to 10 to the 12 picometers. And this right here is something you have to memorize. I can write um, 1 meter equals 10 to the 12 picometers, which is also equal 10 to 10 to the 9 nanometers which is also equal to 10 to 6 micrometers. So coming back over here, we, we converted from picometers to meters. Now I want to convert from meters to centimeters. So we have 100 centimeters per meter. Now let's look back and see if we can cancel everything. Picometers cancel, meters cancel, we're left with centimeters. All right, good. Um, you'll see I'm forgetting one thing, which is to cube the whole thing. And then after we cube it, plug it into our calculator, and we get an answer of 
5.69 times 10 to the negative 23 centimeters cubed. So now we have a volume and a mass. The last thing we have to do is put these two together in our equation for density to find density. So we'll have density equal to 1.277 times 10 to the negative 21 grams divided by 5.69 times 10 to the 23, negative 23 centimeters cubed. Plug this into the calculator and we get 22.43 grams per centimeter cubed. And if we round off, we get answer choice B. So the key to this problem is knowing what space centered means being able to accurately draw out your face-centered cube and predicting the volume and mass from this cube and the information that they gave you.